So I have to talk to you about your two past uh, movies as well, where you had to suffer a lot. It looks like physically. Oh, no. No. Now he no, just no, has no, to no, suffer. No, no. The, so what he about this one? Because I remember you were talking about a shirtless scene and it wasn't in the movie. Oh. Yes. This <laughs> is true. <laughs> this is true. Um, so basically there was a moment in the film where J.K. Rowling, because, you know, he's a very English and quite um, slight, awkward man. And there was a moment where he goes down into his case to his world where all of his things are and he was meant to rip off his shirt and you saw all these like scars and, 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 and you see that he was actually, J.K. Rowling wrote that he was really quite built. So they had me go to the gym, which Catherine witnessed occasionally for months and months on end. And then it got to doing the scene. He doesn't like to exercise, this man. <sighs> Flip and hate it. And then um, we got to the scene and I think probably because I spent most of the scene going, Oh, I'm gonna get my wand! <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get Dude, to look at all the work I've done! <laughs> um, I think the acting was so bad that it got cut. I think it was probably just so overwhelming, you know? It's like, <laughs> you don't wanna, I don't know, make Chris Hemsworth feel bad about yeah, himself. Yeah, I didn't want, I didn't and, want to you know, threaten Hemsworth. So it was like, Hemsworth. guys, 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 you know. I was like, Thor? Don't want to make him feel bad about Newt doesn't yeah. want to threaten Thor. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's why it got cut. But it was sad because you'd done all that work. Yeah. But I think it, you know, I think you could feel his strength. <laughs> yes, I saw it through the clothes yeah. oh, and thanks. everything. Thank yes. you. So now that you, we have to say that you have one Oscar and you've been nominated for an Oscar. So what is it like for you now before the award season when you don't have all the pressure on you? Like, is it... Is oh, is it she's like, wait, wait, I'm not going to be nominated. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you mean? saying? Every year, no. I... Uh... <laughs> I, um, I... What, what, what's hilarious is that you find... Um, you find other things. That, 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 that the interesting thing about promoting a film, if it's in awards contention, is that, that there is a whole period. It's like a six-month promotional thing from when the film plays at one of the festivals right through to the Oscars. And so people keep saying with this film, because it's a large-scale film, they go, God, the promotion is going to be super intense. And I'm like, it's nothing compared to the <laughs> six months. It's like one month yeah. compared to six months. Um, no, so it's, uh, oh, gosh, I enjoyed all those all those things so much but um no i'm having so much fun on this one so it feels feels lovely where do you keep it at home on in my flat in my apartment just on a little sort of side table although jimmy kimmel sent um you know jimmy kimmel yeah. the talk show host, after the Oscars, he sent a pair of underpants velcro underpants perfectly formed and molded for the for the oscar oh, so it keep has, it decent um, keeps it decent velcroed on oh, very nice great. what color white blue oh. stripe Nice, nice touch. Tidy whities <laughs> Do you let people hold it? Yeah. Oh, God, it's free for all. Do people like to uh, give speeches? Th they don't give speeches. They all remark on how heavy it is and yeah. how unreal it looks. Because yeah. it's so sort of shiny that, um, that I still find it. Um, the whole thing feels a bit unreal, really, when you yeah. sort of walk in, particularly if you're a little bit drunk. <laughs> what is that thing doing? That's hilarious. So, and you've become a dad also since last time. Yeah. How is that? Is it hard? Is it, are you sleeping enough? And are you? Is um, it it changing is your life? amazing. Um, it, it is hard. Yeah, it's. Uh, but not. I mean, what's amazing is you go through it as a as a as a trio. You know, my wife and I, and I think it's substantially harder for for, for my wife. But it's also that, that that all those cliches of the reward you get when you have a really shoddy night's sleep, and eventually Iris will go to sleep, and then you wake up in the morning and. You hear a squeak and you turn on the lights and she has a like, formidable smile on her face. That, that it makes it, um, it's extraordinary, really extraordinary. And also he says, you know, now we're doing press and we have early mornings and stuff. And I'm like, oh, are you so exhausted? He's like, this is nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> I've become the smug parent. Exactly. <laughs> this is vacation. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. try not to say everything else that all new parents say. You have no idea what tired feels like. Is that the main one? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's all about sleep. It's all this. this. So, uh, in Norway, people have been, like, sleeping outside the theatres for, like, I think a week. No. To get tickets for this movie. For Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that how do you feel about your competition? <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of crazy. What do you guys feel about that when you hear that? When people I mean, are doing I haven't heard that movie? before, and that is totally crazy. I think it's a lie, for a start, but that no, is crazy if it's actually happening. Really? Uh, They're camping in tents. I mean, wow. okay, yeah. but in Norway, so it's still, like, it's actually, they probably just don't know what... It's really cold. It's, it's still light all day there. No, I guess no. it's getting dark now. It's starting cold. Oh, yeah. God. Well, firstly, get a hot water bottle. 
Secondly, thank you, and we hope we don't disappoint. Yeah. I can't say that in Norwegian, but I can say tusen takk. Oh, that is which Norwegian. Which is something. Yes. What does that mean? A thousand thanks, or thank yeah, you. That's really and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tusen My sister-in-law is Norwegian. The only other thing I can say is hut kommer snart. Does that make any sense? She, like she, I'll, it's when her mother calls, and I say, she's coming soon. Like the who comes snart? Who comes uh, snart? That, I've got to say, what you did sounds pretty similar to what you did. <laughs> but then yet she was like, what? <laughs> That's basically all I've got. Amazing. It is good, though. Yeah. <laughs> so what was, what was it like for you guys to work on something that you, there's so many things you can't see, in, and you're acting out on, I don't know, like weird things that things. are not really there? We, we were given a lot of help. Yeah. We? A lot more than you'd expect when you see the film. You think, oh, this must have all been done artificially after we, fi we finished shooting. But we had wonderful puppets and mm. the puppeteers, who Eddie worked with more than I did. So take it away, Eddie. Well, we had <laughs> take it away. Wow, there we go. Hi, good evening. Uh, we, the, the, but there were amazing moments where there would be like gigantic creatures that they had made with three puppeteers, manning oh. them down to little... Like little Picket, who's a stick insect, they made a little wire sculpture that looked like a Giacometti sculpture or something yeah. that would sort of go along my fingers. And sometimes you would use that in the shot and sometimes you would have it beforehand and then use the sort of sense memory of it to talk to and imagine the, uh, the creatures. Yeah, and one of those difficult things too was, um, was that we would all be looking at the same thing in the same in, in the same spot, in the same way, and at the same time. And that's why it was so useful that sometimes they would bring in the little object so we could all be like, okay, so that's about three inches above Eddie's knuckle and we'll all look at the that's same a, point. Because yeah. sometimes you see in movies when that doesn't work well, the eyes are kind of all going in different directions. Yeah. And that, that's a funny little technical thing that's actually, I think, kind of hard kind to pull of off. <laughs> we had that, there was one moment as this animal called a swooping evil, which is this one that, swing, that sort of flies around. And there's a scene where Catherine and I were both having to eye it and there was nothing in the air. So the two of us are doing this and we didn't know if that was too much. It was around me, so I had we should... to be going. <laughs> and he <laughs> had to be going. But I didn't know whether to use my head or just to try to use my eyes. <laughs> it was a bit of a disaster. Yeah. Hi there, thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it and if you did, there might be some other interviews you like on my channel, so please subscribe by clicking this button down here and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks again for watching. Bye.